Yeah, I mean, what, what could be better, man? Playing playoff football January at Arrowhead Stadium, um, it's going to be cold. Kind of is what it is. I'd rather be playing a football game than chasing my kids around the backyard. So I'll have a little bit of the adrenaline rush, and uh, I'm excited for it. I just say get ready for the game. Let's do that. I don't really care what goes on out here. Um, you know, we're not having a snowball fight. Time now for our last call, and that was, of course, Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes and Chiefs head coach Andy Reid letting us know that it's Super Wild Card Weekend and is also super cold out there for Kansas City's Saturday night matchup against the Miami Dolphins. So we hit up ABC News meteorologist Melissa Griffin for the frozen football forecast. Elizabeth, we got to talk about that football forecast because you know weather is going to impact some of these playoff games. Look at this. Dolphins at Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. It's going to feel like negative 19 degrees. The temperature there remaining below zero throughout the entire game. Really just dangerous cold for anyone that's going to be out there. Really should really just be staying home for that one. And Steelers of Bills and Buffalo, blinding snow. They're used to the snow there, but this could get pretty dangerous with whiteout conditions and temperatures in the teens. Elizabeth. Staying home for that one. Thanks so much for that, Melissa. And along with those plunging temps in Kansas City, ticket prices are also plummeting for that Dolphins Chiefs game on Saturday night, with seats on StubHub listed for as low as $32 today, when playoff games would normally cost hundreds, sometimes even thousands. Let's bring back our panel. LZ, Chiefs are actually tweeting out tips to stay warm to brave this game. My question to you is, is this an advantage to the Chiefs here, given the weather and the fact that they're playing Miami? Well, listen, you hit it right on the head. It's Miami, right? So those warnings aren't for any of the Chiefs players or certainly not for any of the fans in the Midwest. It's for the poor souls in Miami. John, and I, I see you. I see you out there in the snow, LZ. I see you. John, it could feel like 20 below with the wind chill in this game. You're from Syracuse. I don't know. It's just another Saturday for you, right? So that, that's, a, that's springtime at Syracuse. Come on, man. You just got to dress the part and go. I mean, I'm a big time Giants fan, and I was at a playoff game where it was below zero heavy winds, and my beer froze in my hand after taking it out of the cooler. There I, see I am. You. That's what you do. You just get ready for it and let it rip. They'll be ready Look to at go. that hat. Look at that fur <laughs> hat, John. I want to see that on air one of these days. <laughs> that was cold that day. <laughs> Christina, this is a plus for the Bargain Hunter Chiefs fans, though, right? I mean, $32 for tickets. Definitely not going to get that if you're trying to go <laughs> see Taylor Swift at her concerts. Maybe you can catch her, right? Yeah, so I mean, I don't know park, how. I need barbecue. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I don't know how the players from Miami, from the Miami Dolphins, are going to be able to stay warm or even be able to move. They're not used to this weather. Look, rain or shine, um, all I can say is the Chiefs are going to have a lot of Taylor Swift fans there tuning in and telling the Chiefs to shake it off that they can get warm. That's all I know. <laughs> oh, gosh, I got nothing on that. <laughs> Mike, I don't know. Does it bring back memories for you, that famous ice bowl that Dallas played in Green Bay way back when, other snowy matchups? It, you excited for this one? I don't know. What do you think? It absolutely does, but $32, those aren't bad tickets. I'll layer up some thermos, but I definitely would like to watch this game from the comforts of my own home. I think the advantage goes to Kansas City when this one. I don't think Miami is ready to play in those type of cold weather temperatures, so we'll see. <laughs> I see you with the layers. I mean, these are we have good, good photos, good elements. Yeah. All you guys staying warm. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was our last call for this half hour. Mike Muse, John Katko, Christina Simpson ramirez and LZ Granderson. Thank you all so much. And thank you for streaming with us. I'm Elizabeth Schulze. More news is next. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.